welcome back to my channel it's me Debbie please excuse the lighting I'm actually recording this at work so I don't have my ginormous ring light and all of that if you guys watched my last video you guys know I was on my period so I wasn't allowed to fast and I wasn't allowed to pray but that doesn't mean that Ramadan is over. Like, even though you're on your period, there's still a bunch of things that you can do that are an act of worship. First thing you could do is make a whole lot of du'a. Like the great thing about du'a is you can make it at any place, any time, anywhere. Make your du'a, girl. Ask God for whatever it is that you want. Or you can recite some of the specific du'as that do exist. Another thing you could do is make plenty of dicker. Dikr is basically the remembrance of Allah and you have to say it a certain amount of times. Like you have to say it a hundred times a day, which seems like a lot, but it's really not. Some of the dikr you can use is SubhanAllah, Hamdulillah, Allah Akbar. You could call Allah by his beautiful names. So if you if you have a hard time counting a hundred times, you could just count your fingers like one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So fifteen times right here, and fifteen times here, it's thirty, and then you do that to get a hundred. So you can definitely do that anytime as well while you're on your period. Also, during that time of the month, you can also increase your acts of charity. Charity will always count as a good deed, and you want those good deeds, especially during this holy month of Ramadan. So do some charity, girl. You could feed the people. You could help somebody make their iftar or make their sahur. Smiling is a form of charity. You can help the homeless. There are a whole bunch of things that count as charity. So you can definitely take advantage of doing a whole lot of them during the month of Ramadan. I thought I read somewhere that you're not supposed to touch or recite the Quran while you're in the period. So I'm not too sure if you can actually do that. Um, you're going to have to look that up for yourself. I keep seeing different opinions but I know you could definitely listen to it. You can listen to the resuscitation. There are plenty of reciters on YouTube, on Apple Music, on Spotify, I think. I'm not too sure about that one. You could definitely listen to some of the beautiful resuscitations of the Quran because it just feels so calming and so peaceful. So definitely take a listen to that. As well as listening to the Quran, you can also listen to some Islamic lectures. There are a bunch of videos on YouTube. Like, do not sleep on YouTube. I know y'all not sleeping on YouTube because clearly you're watching this video that's on YouTube. So I know y'all not sleep on YouTube. And there there's also some stuff that you can listen on Clubhouse. I've been listening to Clubhouse and there's some people that up there that be talking about various things so you can get in tune with that. You can also listen to some podcasts. I don't have a favorite Islamic podcast right now, but I'm on a search. So if you have any suggestions, definitely leave that in the comments below. You can also repent. Like even though you can't fast and you're not praying, Definitely repent to Allah, ask for his forgiveness because Allah loves to forgive. Ask him for that forgiveness. You know you did something you wasn't supposed to do, so this is your time to ask him for forgiveness. I mean, you can ask him for forgiveness whenever, but definitely take this opportunity to ask him more since you're not praying. The times that you would be praying, you can sit down and you can ask him for that forgiveness. You can make your dicker. You can make your dua. Definitely still use that time wisely. Last but not least, spread love and positivity. Like if you're going to be on social media, if you're going to be on the gram, if you're going to be on Facebook, if you're going to be on Twitter, definitely post Islamic stuff repost Islamic stuff. You never know who might see it or who might really need it to see it, like who it might connect with. So definitely do that. Write the love and positivity to your Muslim brothers and sisters and all over the world. But that's all I have for today. Let me know what else you guys are doing during your menstrual cycles because I know sometimes it can be very hard, especially if you have a gruesome period because sometimes Auntie Flo ain't all that friendly, okay? But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We're on the road to 1K. Thank you guys once again and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.